No, all right, but if we call it journey to one ATP point, it wouldn't be considered pleasurizing, right? I think the change has to be a bit more noticeable. Mm. A bit more, yeah. What's up, lads? Welcome to Gladiators on Tour, and more specifically to a sub-series called um, Road to Two ATP Points, a series where we take you with us on our journey to ITF Pro Circuit tournaments all over the world, also known as Futures. We will show you all the struggles and all the challenges that we have to face on our road to winning our first two ATP points and becoming tennis professionals. This time we went to a 25K in Belize, Georgia. Guys, I know this format might be a bit strange, but uh, we have to record it separately because, well, he's in motherland russia and i'm in barcelona so yeah it's a bit strange that we're not together but while i'm recording this we were apart but the video is of course about the trip that we did uh, together so yeah back to Grisha. so our initial idea was to go to georgia for three weeks because there were three tournaments in a row in the same club and it only made sense to play them all because you know there's more chance of winning points and just winning in general and uh, that's what Arik did and Grisha didn't my lovely friend he did it so he came only for the last week and uh, so the previous two weeks I had to enjoy loneliness in another country alone but yeah yeah not the best plan following one can imagine but anyways my challenges started even before I got to the courts because my road to getting to Belize, let's just say, wasn't exactly the easiest one. So I have a 14 hour layover in Switzerland and thanks to Pachita, I'm staying in this awesome capsule hotel, which is basically a bed and it's in a capsule. But yeah, over here is the Babel Pure Arrow that we're gonna review. You've probably already seen the review of it because it, it should be out already, but by the time this is here, we haven't done it yet. And we're gonna do it on the tournament in Georgia. But yeah, it's, it's, it's actually pretty cool. It's quite spacious and, 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 and fun. And you got everything you need. Light, plugs, then this thing that says, yeah. Yeah, as I said, the video on the new Bubble Up Pure Aero 2023 is already out. Go check that out. And it's finally on sale in both US and Europe. So if you're interested in purchasing it, the link is in the description together with our discount code. But now, back to the video. I'm in the Yerevan airport, which is actually Arik's motherland. And uh, I'm waiting for my checked in bag. And from here, I'll be taking a car to get to Tbilisi, where I'm technically supposed to be meeting Arik after not seeing him for like over a month. Well, I mean, it wasn't a month that I, we didn't see each other, it was maybe a week, but of course for Grisha, living a whole week without Arik feels like months, so yeah. As I said, the road wasn't the easiest one, like even the actual road from Yerevan to Tbilisi, it wasn't lit enough, it would sometimes just disappear, everyone driving like crazy, and at some point it started to rain and hay like a motherfucker. Also, there were like dogs all over the place, which is, you know, kind of fun, but random fact. But in the end, I managed to get to the capital of Georgia safe and met with the man himself. There is the guy. It's like 6.40 a.m. And he, he, was, he was lost or I was lost. I'm not sure. Grisha, <laughs> what a pleasure seeing you, especially at 6 in the morning. Yeah, I just made him wake up at 6 in the morning and I was like, yeah, Arik, we're practicing twice today. I haven't slept the whole night, uh, but you know. Nice to see you. Yeah, and in this part of the video, of course, I don't want to remind you once again that Grisha left me alone for two weeks, but because of that, I had to find another uh, flatmate, let's say, for those uh, weeks. So I ended up living with Artur, my Armenian friend, a very good player, fabulous guy. And, well, that's why we ended up in this apartment for only, like, two people, living three people. When you know that he's already awake because of your noise, but you're still... <laughs> nice, that's me. Don't freak out. <laughs> okay, so this is a casual stair... stair staircase, stair, whatever, in, in, in Georgia. You know, just... 
<laughs> so we just just finished a, a wonderful lunch for like 20 euros for three people. Yeah. Love the name of the food. Ajaragan. Ah. It's like the easiest name in Georgia. Yeah. At least say this one because the rest we're not gonna be able to say. Yeah. Ajaragan Hachapuri. It was amazing. And and then there's like the, the city itself. The city center is really beautiful. Ah, you see this beauty. You see this beauty. It was then time to sign and pay for the inscription and finally play some tennis. I'm saying finally because, well, the two weeks of tournaments that I've missed, I actually haven't picked up my racket, like, at all. So this was the first time I'm playing after not playing for two weeks. Just signed, <laughs> Just signed for the tournament. Yes, as you can see, Artur wants to be in the vlog as he's running away with <laughs> our friend right here. <laughs> Trisha, yeah. how is the court? How are you feeling? Uh, how's the court? How, how am I feeling? Well, to say that I'm not feeling the ball at all is to say nothing. Yeah, I like uh, my position of being like your coach from here. I can shout out you like, move your legs! And you can do shit about it. Okay. Dale, Grisha, vamos. Pussy. <laughs> Sorry. Dale. Ah. Uh. What's awesome about Georgia is that you can you can play on court shirtless. So pretty much all the players are playing without a t-shirt, and and that's that's really cool. Because in Barcelona they they're always like put your t-shirt on. Here they don't give. Aye. How was how was our practice? Practice slash uh, bracket review. Amazing. No. Yeah. Best thing to do before a match, what do you do? Play, play with a different racket. racket. And yeah. just pimple over here. Don't mind that, guys. I don't know what's covering my pimples. I don't know. Guys, how about how, what do you think about Arik's beard lately? I have like five kilos more. I have to. I get more tired when I run. You know? All right, glads. We're done practicing. I don't know how many times I already said that, but we're headed to the apartment now. We're gonna do a room tour because we haven't done it. Room tour is the correct word because the house is not the biggest, so it's literally just a room yeah, tour. Yeah, literally like, just a room, and we're like three in it. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and then we're gonna eat some dinner, and then we're gonna sleep. I only slept for like three hours today. I'm jet lagging like a motherfucker. Yep. And I like that our whole vlog is gonna be just tennis and eating because I eat all the time and play sometimes tennis. That's it. Exactly. To nobody's surprise, by the end of that training session, I was still feeling like shit. But anyways, it was time to eat some dinner and string my rackets. I actually left one of my rackets to the stringer in the club, and that cost me like 60 lari, which is over 20 euros. Like, what? Are you ready to leave the room tour? Do I have so much time to do it? Uh, not really. I need the whole day, but alright, let's go. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, here's... The kitchen. It's not the kitchen. too bad, actually. It's not too bad. We have the kitchen. Toiletation? Is it Toiletation? Clean? It is, it is, it is. We're good, yeah. we're good. Alright. Arturo with this amazing body. This is where he sleeps. Yeah, that becomes a bed. And, and this. <laughs> do, do we really say that we... No. Alright. This is, uh, this is my bed. And then Arik sleeps in a different room. Which is? Turn around. This one. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a balcony. It's actually, actually... No, the view is horrible, but the fact that we have a balcony is pretty cool. There's a... Um, Our two ahead, so we have romantic views. <laughs> the, the resting to Rafael. <laughs> Arig, Arig, Arig. Are we liking Georgia so far? Oh, I think... I think maybe... Yeah, right? Yeah! Alright, Arig, can you, can you hold the camera yeah, for a second? Yeah. Alright, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, I mean, have you seen like professional stringers? Well, Grisha is the main one in the world, you know, because like you see, you <laughs> see what the like... This is what happens when you misplace the racket in the first place. And by the way, he needs my help and he's waiting for it and I'm helpful and we this video recording. <laughs> okay, Grisha is stringing now, he's about to finish, so... About to finish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> All right, one day he will finish and then we will try to go to sleep because, well, tomorrow we have the match. So, to, s to sleep better, Grish, I'm gonna offer you something. All right, all right, all right. Oh uh, no, where is it? <laughs> Morning of, of the match day. 
and uh, matches day because we're gonna play two because we're gonna win of course the first round right because if round. you win the first round you play second round today as well the sleep was freaking horrible it was hot there were mosquitoes all over the place and yeah i didn't sleep well yeah so we just went to, to subway to get some breakfast and the lady there not only were they not accepting a card so Artur had to pay for everything uh, but also she took maybe like I don't know 25 minutes to do our sandwiches so we're super late to practice but let's go so basically this is all you need to be a professional tennis player just one racket and and a backpack that has nothing to do with tennis so um, yeah heading on to the warm-up now guys by the way you see this thing after our matches are done we're so hitting this and I'm so beating these two at, 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 at doing that I, 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 not even you believe that. I, I, I. We, we so didn't mean to wear the same t-shirt. No, not at all. I'm playing second match. He's playing third match on the same central court. Central court, because <laughs> what other court could we play? Yes. Right. About the match now. It wasn't bad. Even though I wasn't feeling the ball too well, my shots were going in for some reason. And uh, the conditions were kind of perfect for my game because, you know, it's pretty fast, hard court and cloudy weather. So, you know, good stuff. Also, I think I'm gonna make the highlights of this video a little longer, so if you don't like seeing Arig and I play, just skip skip that a little bit. But but then I don't I don't really know why you you'd be watching this. I had to heavily rely on my serve, and luckily my serve was there on that day, and make the points as short as possible to save up my cardio because I knew that if I win, I'd have to play my second match on that same day in maybe half an hour. So, you know, making the points shorter was important to not get tired for the second match. My opponent wasn't bad at all. He played pretty decent tennis, relatively solid, and you know, would sometimes switch it up and stuff, but nothing crazy, he wasn't seated or anything. I do have to say that he was a really nice guy. Something I can't really say about the crowd in Belisi, however. Alright, I'm here watching Grisha's match. 
my uh, skyscraper friend with his height is just hitting bombs from the serve and amazing playing pretty good so yeah for now it's pretty easy vamos Grisha let's go and yeah I thought he would play much earlier because the I said the previous match is gonna be like short because I saw the players and I thought it's gonna be like a fast match and they went to a third set so we've been waiting here for a while but apparently it was worth it Grisha is doing well so vamos By the way, there was this really important point at some point. Yeah, where I played a backhand and the guy called it out and it was on like a game point for him and if I, he would have called it in, it would be like 40 all and that would kind of change things. But it doesn't matter. I don't think he even did it on purpose. So whatever. What's gonna happen in Arik's match is, is quite a bit, quite a bit worse. So yeah, keep watching.
you know people say that it's not good to be materialistic and all that but if you can notice how much motivation Grisha gets just by looking at Porsche's uh, picture and starts winning in the match like it's incredible so sometimes maybe it's not a too bad of a thing no? Finished my match just now, one six two six four. Um, pretty easy first set. Got a little complicated in the in the second set. Um, yeah, but the public in Georgia isn't isn't the greatest. Uh, they were clapping at some point when I did double pulls and stuff. So yeah, not the best. Uh, but oh well, Arig is up over there, and uh, yeah, he's warming up the serve already. So should should start soon. Yeah, and guys, uh, let me just remind you that, uh, well, there's this thing on the same, let's say, bar where you have the like button, the dislike button, the share button, all that. If you continue, there's the super thanks button, which is also the button that controls our lives. So you can control our lives because if you give us a small donation, that would for sure help us with all the traveling and video making and all our tennis uh, journey, let's say. So it's all in your hands. So if, whatever you you desire to help us with would be a, a huge thing for us. So thank you very much in advance. So yeah. Well, yeah, of course, this match with the Georgian guy had the, its own challenges apart from the tennis trick aspects. One of them, of course, the guy just left the court, he had some pain, so he was to call the doctor or whatever. But uh, when you play a match where there's no, uh, how do you say, chair empire, at least you have to tell something to your opponent before getting out of the court. And he just didn't tell me anything and just walked away like if he was going for some smokes, I don't know. So it was kind of strange, but he did, so yeah. The crowd wasn't the best. He tried, I don't know if he did it on purpose, but you never know, but he stole some points, like the clear in balls that were going clearly in. I'm sure you're gonna see some footage of that, but yeah. Well, and then the match, of course, I, I kind of played decent, to be honest. Like, I was attacking, I was even attacking, I was even hitting winners from my forehand. So it was not a, the worst match I played, you know, it was pretty decent. I did everything, I was uh, very composed all the time, so I was kind of proud of myself on that match. And the guy was this tall dude that uh, had no other option in his life than other than being a good server. Even if he, he would play once a year, he would be a good server, I'm sure, so... Yeah, he had the good serve, uh, wasn't very consistent, uh, to be honest, and, well, I don't know.
right set. I already got the first set. It's and uh, he's leading 2-1 in in the second. Uh, he's not feeling too good, but you know what matters is that he's 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 winning. So so yeah. What just happened? What oh, just I won, I won. But oh. the, the hardest part of the match was fighting boxing against the mosquitoes that yeah. I had on. And also the, the dudes yeah, that were classic. Like you, play, you, play two tournaments. you played two tournaments before I came, right? Lost in the first round of yeah. probably both. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. come and yes. he wins. Yes. Yes. Mm. Alright, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what was funny during my match? The guy came up to me. Oh no, you know it. He was like, dude, you're doing uh, footfall every time you serve. Can you like watch out for that? Because you're playing on the center board and like people see it. I'm like, alright. So yeah, this is how the matches went, the first round, uh, uh, it's time for the conclusion, I mean, there's gonna be a second part of this video, so I don't know how do I do a conclusion of something that hasn't even concluded, uh, let's leave it to Grisha, bye bye. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, dude, you were supposed to do the con- I mean, guys, subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and hit the bell, and uh, see you in part two, I guess. Put you cover the camera. No, like actually cover it. I know how to love you. I know how to love you.